So if you're just starting out as a freelancer, a coach or a consultant, you're probably wondering whether or not you should be doing work for free. This is one of the most common questions that comes up for me is, should I do free work to build my portfolio? And the answer nine times out of 10 is a big hell no. Don't do it, don't do it. Now here's why. When you work for free, you generally attract clients who are not committed to your success and to the outcome of the project, right? So if you go to someone and you know you start pitching your services and they say, hey, you know what, you're new, why don't you do this for free and it will build your portfolio and I'll give you a testimonial. I want you to tell them to hit the road because here's why. They are not gonna value your time, they are not gonna value your work, and they are not actually gonna be a very good testimonial or portfolio builder. In order to do really good work with clients, they generally need to be committed to your outcome, right? Because you need to be interviewing them, you need to be doing research, getting their feedback, and you know, putting in time with them to make the project really good. This applies to just about any kind of freelancing. So if the client doesn't really care about your work, they kind of say, oh yeah, it's free, help me out, you know, redo this for me, do whatever, you're not actually gonna end up with very good work for them. The other thing you're gonna find is that the relationship will be quite frustrating. You're gonna go in with the impression that, hey, I'm doing this free work for them, they're gonna be super excited, they're gonna value me, they're gonna really you know, appreciate it, they won't. Now you might need to learn this the hard way, you might think, hey, this Dan guy on YouTube, not gonna listen to him, gonna try it out. But trust me, this is the case. And I've seen it with my clients. You know, when I tell them this, they say, yep, that's, that's what I've seen too, every time I've done work for free. Now, there are a few exceptions when free work can actually be a good thing. The first thing is if you proactively go after the client and suggest doing it for free. So why might you do this? Well, maybe there's someone who's well-known in your city or well-known in a certain industry and you would love to have a testimonial from them. In that case, you could go after them. You could be the one to go for them and say, hey, can I do this project for you for free? It would be you know, an honor to work with you, whatever, right? So you're proactively going after them to do it. Now, if the client ever suggests doing free work, run. Anytime they bring up free work to build your portfolio or get a good testimonial, these are not the kind of people you wanna be working with, trust me. It's only ever okay if you bring it up. Now, if you are ever gonna do free work with someone, make sure that you treat it as if it's paid work. And what I mean by that is have them invested. So when we say free, I'm talking about money, but you never want someone to be working with you without some kind of investment and commitment. So if you're going to do a free project with someone, have a proper proposal, have an outline, and have it so that they have clear expectations about the amount of time they need to put in, the feedback they need to be giving you, as well as your expectations for getting testimonials and references from them if the project goes well. It's really important to have that laid out at the start. If you treat the free work casually and just say, hey, can I do this for you? then the client will treat it casually and your odds of getting a good testimonial, a good reference from them, or any future business goes right out the window. So if you're just starting out and you wanna be building your portfolio, and this is why you're interested in doing this free work, consider just building your portfolio, finding the potential clients you'd like to work with, and if it's possible to find something of theirs that you could do. So for example, if you're a freelance writer, um, go to a potential client's webpage and pull up one of the sections that you think is really poorly written and rewrite that for them. Now, of course, it's not gonna be as good as if you could talk to them, which is a big part of a good client relationship, right? Just communication, research, asking questions, but it's a chance to get started. So you could rewrite that page for them, make it a lot better, and then send it to that client and say, hey, um, I just wanted you to have this. I, I re-wrote you know, this for your site. Um, if you like it and want to use it, get in touch and maybe we can talk about doing a project together or you can buy it off me or whatever. And so that way you can be building your portfolio with the work and then potentially get paid on it as well. Um, it's just a good way to practice as well if you don't have other projects to practice on. When people are just starting out, they think, oh, I have to be free or no one will want to pay me. I don't have a portfolio yet, that kind of thing. That's BS. 
if you're starting out at a reasonable rate, you know, 15, 20, 25 an hour, if your client is any way serious about business, that's almost free for them from a financial point of view when they're looking at it. And so starting out with a low rate, you're gonna have a more invested client. You're gonna be getting paid, which is good because I presume you enjoy money and being able to eat and stuff. And you're gonna also get to build your portfolio as well. Free work is kind of like a baby step um, or training wheels and it just slows your progress. And I don't think, unlike training wheels on a bike, I don't think free work is necessary. Personally, I've never done free work for a client. I started with paid work right off the bat. Um, but when I talk about how to do free work here, I'm talking about if you are gonna do it, I think that's the best approach. But in general, I would avoid free work unless it really works into part of your marketing plan in terms of targeting specific people that you wanna reference or portfolio piece from. All right, hope you found this video helpful, useful, entertaining, or all of the above. If you did, I encourage you to subscribe. Join me with other videos where we'll cover topics such as getting your first client, raising your rates, and all around living a more awesome life. Thanks again for watching and catch you in another video.